All right, people, welcome back. More card review. So we got another terrible image, uh, one of the magazine cards. Apologize, but not much I can do about it. Anyway, today we're actually looking at a Dynamis card. Yes, uh, I'm not sure if you guys remember, I played Dynamis for a short while on Daily Duels of Tag Deck, and I wasn't playing it properly. I'll admit it. I'll admit it. Dynamis do more than just go into infinity, but still. They go into infinity, and that in itself is just, ooh, but, uh, yeah, they do more. So I'm going to be hard ahead and looking at it with more of a critical eye than just, uh, it doesn't like infinity, it's bad. And uh, hopefully uh, it'll be good enough to throw into the Dynamis lineup. So this is Dynamis Ankylos. What is Ankylos? I mean, it even looks kind of like fucking, uh, was it Ankylomon from Digimon? I think that's what his name was. It's been such a long time since I've seen Digimon like that. Uh, it is a level 4 water machine type monster pendulum effect. They, 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 they did that really weird. <laughs> uh, so it's a level 4 machine, so you probably won't be going to infinity with it unless you increase the level, but still. Still, the level 4s are not bad, not bad. Uh, 1500 attack, 2000 defense, so nice, nice stats. I mean, 1500 is not bad, and 2000 booty, alright, alright. Pendulum scale 6, yes, yes. Uh, it was actually one of my complaints when, uh, when I played Dynamis, I was like, man, their, their scales aren't even. I can't stand that when shit is uneven when it comes to pendulums, unless it's just absolutely, like, these monsters are so good, I don't care what their pendulum scale that I'm running them. But, when it came to that, I was like, wow, you know, we have, like, I think it was like four threes and only three sixes. So I was like, god, they need another six. Ta-da! Here's another six. Thank you. So, that's awesome. So, if I was still playing Dynamis, I would definitely run him. Definitely, like there would be no freaking debate. I don't even care what his effect is, just because he's a pendulum scale six. But let's go ahead and look at his pendulum effect. So pendulum effect, I believe all the sixes have the same pendulum effect, and all the threes have the same pendulum effect. So his pendulum effect is once all this card is in your pendulum zone, you can negate the activation of a card that targets another dynamis card or cards you control and destroy this card. So I believe the pendulum scale sixes protect from targeting, and the pendulum scales three protect from destruction. And those two can, you know. Combined together with the powerful Dynamis monsters, I, I can really put in that work, I must say. Uh, but let's see, it's monster effect. So all monsters destroyed by Dynamis, uh, monsters you control by battle, are banished instead. Oh, so you kind of got a little bit of that Democ effect. That I mean, any Dynamis monsters, so that's pretty good. So he's on the field, Pendulum Summon Defense Mode, 2000 booty. All your Dynamis monsters are like, hey, we're going to go ahead and get it in, uh, and your shit's banished. So, you know, I think the fill spell gives them, like, an Armades effect. This guy, you know, gives them, like, a Democ banish effect with their Pendulum Scales protecting. I, I, you know, I was wrong. I was wrong. I will admit, I was wrong. Dynamis do more than just go into Infinity. And uh, I think that this card will totally help in the Dynamis lineup. I think they'll definitely play it while you're just playing a Dynamis deck. Just because, A, it's a Pendulum Scale 6. Being able to banish every monster you can, you control, or just, it's just banished when it's destroyed by battle. That's cool, you know? It's just like, hey, I'm going against Cosmos. I can fuck up your Cosmo monster, but it's just going to get to go to the graveyard back and it's effect and float. Nah, let me go ahead and play Pendulum Summon this guy. Now, when my when my Dynamis monster destroy you by battle, you're banished. Like, you, you don't get to go to the graveyard. You're just dead banished. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. You know, even pendulum based monsters, you know, if I kill like, you know, some of your uh, you know, performer power monsters and they're dead and you say, ah, oh, they go back to x No, no, they don't. They get banished. <laughs> yeah. So that, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So like I said, once again, I apologize. I was wrong. Diamonds do more than that. They do more than go into infinity. Going into infinity, it's just a bonus. <laughs> so tell me what you guys think about Dino Miss and Kalos in the comment section below. And tell me what you guys just think about Dino Miss in general, you know? I see it maybe as like a tier 2.5 deck. Like, I see it at locals mostly. The occasional just someone playing Dino Miss going into the infinity. But I, I don't think I've ever seen a Dino Miss deck top. So I really can't give it that, that tier 2. Because in my eyes, tier 2 is... Is potential the to top, you know? And can I say this deck has the potential to top? It's been out for long enough, and I haven't even seen the top, even with being the best at infinity. So I can't even say that. So maybe like tier two point five or three, but not two. Two twos are them, them jump out the bushes like, oh wow, surprise, you know? I, I, I'd probably say that like Phantom Knights are like tier two, or like Yang Zings are like tier two, you know? The shit that you can, you're not generally gonna see it top, but it has the potential to top, you know? Uh, even even top like thirty two or sixty four, but I don't know. I've never seen Dynamis top, not even once. So I don't know. So tell me what you guys think about Dynamis. Tell me what you guys think about this card. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. Once again, apologize for the art. Can't do anything about that. We got a couple more cards to uh, discuss uh, on this. Like I said, we got like a Shiranui card and a 
uh, we have a Buster Blader card, so we can go ahead and talk about that since Buster Blader is on Billy Duels. I'm not sure if I'll talk about the Performing Power card because it's just another Performing Power card, and then a Moonlight card. So we can always do, we can do, just do that. And uh, if anything, other new cards like that come out catch my eye, we can review those as well. I mean, card review is such an easy series to do, and we can just do them like pretty much forever. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Card Review. Thanks for watching, thanks for the support, and yeah, see you guys next week with some more cards to look at. Thanks for watching.